Welcome to the Sudoku Academy by Sudoku X. In this expert series, we build on the advanced skills acquired at hard gameplay levels. As you face increasingly complex puzzles, you will need to refine your Sudoku solving skills further. These expert tutorials teach techniques and strategies that bridge the gap from hard to expert gameplay. Today, we will introduce an elimination technique called Swordfish. The Swordfish technique operates similarly to the X-Wing technique. We highly recommend completing the X-Wing tutorial before proceeding with the Sudoku Swordfish if you have not done so already. The X-Wing technique involves finding a rectangle where the target digit, referred to as the fish digit, is located at each corner. By using this technique, we can eliminate other instances of the fish digit in either the row or the column. Swordfish extends this principle to nine cells across three rows and columns. To identify a swordfish, find three columns, each containing only two or three cells possible for the same candidate. If these cells align with the same three rows, all other candidates in those rows can be eliminated. Consider the highlighted number seven. If either the three green or the three blue sevens are true, then the number seven is covered in all three rows, allowing us to eliminate any other sevens in these rows. Like the X-Wing, the Swordfish technique involves at least four different blocks. Let's work through an example using a Sudoku board with notes already filled in. Contrary to the previous example, rather than first examining the columns, we will start with looking for rows. Focusing on the number two, observe that it can only be placed in two cells in rows one, three, and seven. These cells nicely align with columns two, five, and seven, forming a swordfish pattern. Since either the twos highlighted in green or the twos in blue must be true, the columns two, five, and seven are effectively covered by a two, allowing all other twos in these columns to be eliminated. Let's proceed with this elimination. After removing the twos, we can confidently place the three and continue our game. Terrific! Be sure to check out our other videos for additional elimination techniques on your path to becoming a Sudoku master. Practice your skills with Sudoku X and master the game at expert difficulty levels.